Dear friends, welcome again to my YouTube channel Geotechnical Engineering Consultancy Tips. Today's lecture of mine is actually in continuation to my previous one where I discussed with you all about the behavior of pile foundation failures in liquefiable soils. Today I will be discussing with you all about the theories of pile foundation failures in liquefiable soils that is how they fail in liquefiable soils. They fail in liquefiable soils by either bending or buckling in all probability. Now, the current practice of pile design is based on bending mechanism where lateral loads due to inertia or slope movement, lateral spreading that is slope movement. If there is a slight 1-2% slope in the soil where the foundation of the particular structure is being put on, where the structure has been built upon, induces bending failure in the pile. However, other than the lateral loads imposed by earthquake, a pile has to sustain the axial load, the vertical compression load acting on it when the surrounding soil is at its lowest possible strength and stiffness due to the diminishing or almost lost confining pressure surrounding the pile owing to liquefaction. Now, what occurs actually is whenever earthquake induced liquefaction occurs, the soil rearranges itself and most of the soil around the pile loses out that is the skin friction is lost out there now bending and buckling require different approaches in design bending theory piles are treated as beams the lateral loads on the piles are due to inertial effects from the superstructure and kinematic effects due to ground movement bending is a stable mechanism and is dependent on the strength buckling theory Piles are treated as beams columns that is actually loaded slender columns carrying lateral loads essentially treating them as unsupported columns in the liquefiable zone after the earthquake induced liquefaction has occurred. Has occurred. Buckling occurs suddenly and is dependent on geometric stiffness. Now, pile foundations have been observed to collapse even in level grounds where no lateral spreads occur in a similar way to that observed in laterally spreading grounds. And how do you differentiate this? I am uh, showing you two images taken from the two research papers, the name of whom has been mentioned in the uh, images, top of the images. Failure of pile foundation in liquefied in level grounds after the 1995 co earthquake, Karsi Tokimatsu. Collapse of piled Kandla Tower in laterally spreading ground after the 2001 Bhuj earthquake, Karsi Mada Bushi et al. What actually happened in ki, the left hand side picture shows that there were no lateral spreads after the failure when the case study was done and the right hand side showed after the case study that the lateral spreads occur, occurred. So what I wish to say is both the buildings settled and then tilted. Now past observations. Cracks have been observed near the bottom and top boundaries between the liquefied and the non-liquefied layers and also often at the pile head. Plastic hinges have been found to form not only at the boundaries of the liquefiable and non-liquefiable layers but also at various other depths. There are even a few cases where plastic hinges were found to form at the middle of the liquefied layer. Therefore, we need to deal with the seismic design analysis of and analysis of pile foundations in liquefiable soils by the following two design approaches. Number one. One is the static response of pile foundations to the pressures and displacements caused by lateral spreading of liquefied ground. Second, number two, the other is the seismic response of piles to strong shaking up accompanied by the development of high pore water pressures or liquefaction. Therefore, the keys to good design are knowing about environmental loads, probable assessment of pile head fixity and the method of analysis that can account for the response of the pile soil structure system which depends upon the diameter and the depth of the pile and the kind of the soil around the pile etc etc position of the water table and so on that is we need to assess the pile soil structure system to strong shaking and or lateral spreading as well namaskar and thank you dear friends i wish you would have uh, now gained something more about the behavior of pile foundations liquefiable soils after this lecture of mine keep on subscribing to my youtube channel geotechnical engineering consultancy thank you thank you very much